Hello everyone, I don't like this baby. And this purple haired lady living in my house, she's gotta go too. So today we're gonna be exploring Penny. And while we're at it, there's a few things I want to try in this video just to see the result. The first being that once Abigail is pregnant again with our next baby, I want to divorce her while she's pregnant to see what happens after that. As well as divorcing her and keeping this one baby and then having another baby with another lady. Anyways, Penny likes emeralds. I happen to have quite a few. I've stocked my crystallarium, so I'm going to go find her. I believe she leaves her trailer at 8am. She lives with Pam. Which means genetically she's probably also a raging alcoholic that will amount to nothing. Okay, she's already out of her trailer. I don't know where to find her. I'm going to find her first thing tomorrow. And might as well keep the current wife happy while we're at it. I can't believe I'm a mom. Life is weird. You're weird. So far we only have Pam emerging from the trailer. Hi stranger. She's just kidding. We're actually the best of friends. 9 o'clock. Let's go meet our new wife for the first time. Oh, she's locked in her room. We can't even get to her yet. Wait a minute, do Pam and Penny both live here? Because I'm only counting one bedroom and one bed. Then again, I guess Pam pretty much just passes out wherever and lies there until she wakes up. Halfway sober and ready to drive that bus. Here comes Penny, 11 o'clock. That's a lot longer than I wanted to wait. Hi Penny, nice to meet you. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Yeah, kids are great. I'm great with kids myself. Anyways, the very first gift, one emerald. Thank you, I really love this. She's rather polite and well-spoken. Is that a bottle half full of booze on their table in front of the trailer? There's an emerald. This looks delicious. And this kind of thing is why she's getting a divorce. Though to be honest, I would very much like to see her eat an emerald. Hi Pam, I brought your rock because it reminds me of your oafish demeanor. This just ain't my thing. Penny is out of her room a little bit earlier today, so there's her emerald, and we'll see if she has anything wise to say. We don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent and Chaz a proper education. I can turn them into birds if that doesn't work out. Good morning, current wife. You don't mind if I do some redecorating now and then, do you? I'm still excited to have a place of my own to work on. Please don't touch my house. If you do, I will divorce you immediately. I like my house just where it's at. It took me a long time to make it. Alright, she's out nice and early today. So, do you like to decorate your farmhouse? As a matter of fact, I do. I did it once in the 60 years I've been here. It must be nice having your own place to decorate. Yeah, I've got a wife currently who's trying to redecorate it actually. It's really not that nice. Why does nobody clean up the garbage around the trailer? How hard would it be to pick up these two tires and these two cans of dog food and put them in the garbage? They've literally been lying here for 55 years? The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. That sounds great for a hangover. I'm sure Pam loves that. Alright, we're up to two hearts now so I can enter Penny's room. She just left the trailer so I'm going to snoop around and see if there's anything interesting. Nothing there. Teacher's guidebook, second grade. Well, we all learn at our own pace. That's probably for Pam. Fairies, Junimos, and other fables. Beautiful fall morning, isn't it? Hi, um, are you doing okay? Yes, I'm doing great. Is something wrong? Okay, so I've just given her the second gift of the week, but tomorrow is her birthday, and if I'm understanding this correctly, I can give her a gift separately on her birthday. So, we'll give that a try. Hopefully I'm understanding this correctly. Okay, let's see if this works. We'll give her the right gift, of course. Happy birthday! A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. I'm full of kindness. Just ask anyone in town. So after that birthday gift, she was at three hearts before, she's now up to five hearts, and I bet she's pretty close to six. And another gift for the purple one, whatever her name is. Can we grow giant pumpkins this season, please, honey? Uh, you mean, can I grow giant pumpkins? I've yet to see you do anything around the farm. Heading out to the wild? I got you something. She gave me a bomb. That's very irresponsible of her. We shouldn't even have bombs in now as we have kids. What am I supposed to do with this? Let the baby have it. They lick balls. Hello, latest victim. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. I wonder whose fault that could be. Pam? It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Yeah, especially when your mom's a terrible drunk. Hello, boring. Do you have anything interesting to say today? It's kind of embarrassing to be the only family in town who lives in a trailer. You're telling me you guys are kind of a mess. I wish I could live in a nice house someday. Well, by happy coincidence, I'm in a market for a new family. Penny is now currently sitting at 6 hearts and my current wife is slipped all the way down to 10 so I gotta remember to keep up on the gift giving for her wherever she's hiding today. 
Alex wants to know if I think the ladies like his haircut. It looks like some kind of fungal growth. Yeah, right. You're just jealous that I look so good. Why would I be jealous of you? I marry pretty much everyone in town. Alright, time for a heart event. Uh, it's so dirty in here. Well, whose fault is that? Mumps, um, sorry that it's such a mess. I was about to clean up. I'd say that too if someone walked into my dirty house. You'll help me? You really mean it? I never said that, I just walked in. Well, this seems stupid. Okay, you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. To be fair, this place is like 45 square feet. It probably won't take very long. And Pam barges in. What do you think you're doing? Uh, the better question would be, Pam, why are you not at the bus stop at this hour? You should be driving people around. Stop it. I had everything just the way I like it. What, drunk and messy? Mom, the house is a total mess. For one thing, it's not a house. It's a trailer. Mumps and I were just trying to tidy up things a bit. Sniff sniff, were you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. Is that a joke? I'm pretty sure Pam sleeps there. She doesn't even have a bed in his place. She's definitely not at the bus stop. It's none of your damn business where I go. It is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. Don't you realize your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. Yeah, good luck with that. Selfish? I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back and you call me selfish, you ungrateful little... It didn't give us that last word. You'd better go. I'm sorry you had to see this kid. Yeah, whatever, Pam. He's a nice young man. But I don't want you telling others to clean up my house. It's embarrassing, you understand? Shut up, Pam. Yes, mother. And for reasons I'm not quite sure, her door opened all by itself. Not only is it a trailer, it is a haunted trailer. And while we're at it, let's do another heart event. Mumps, you came at a good time. That's what she said. I'm just about finished cooking a new recipe I invented. Well, this could only go well. Let me just finish up real quick. Also what she said. Here, give that a little taste. Clearly I'm enjoying it by my green complexion. Well, if I didn't need the friendship points so bad right now, I would say, well, it's definitely unique. How did you get it so rubbery? I'm just going to go ahead and lie because apparently that's how you get the most friendship points. Mmm, that was delicious. You really mean it? Thank you. It's such a relief to hear that. I've been working so hard in this recipe and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, you should bring that to everyone in town. They'll absolutely love it. Hey, since you're the first one to try it, I'm gonna name this one Chili de Mumps. Sounds so amazing. Um, so how about we watch a movie or something? I like where this is going. And another gift from your favorite stalker? After today's gift, Penny is all the way up to 8 hearts now, so Sam is always going to load her up on flowers to bump her all the way up to 10. 30 seconds later, she is at maximum love. Now we can do the last few heart events and then marry her. Here we go with the 8 heart event. Oh mums, it's perfect timing that you showed up. I brought the children on little field trip into the countryside. Perfect, you tie them up, I'll hit them with the shovel. You know all about life in the country, right? Damn right I do. So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? No, I can't stand kids. I'm just kidding. Don't go with that answer. You lose a lot of friendship points. I'd love to. I do nothing but lie to Penny. Let me just call the children over. May I have your attention, please? You don't have to yell. They're six feet away. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. It's our very own local farmer, Mumps, and I am really special. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Yes, I destroy pretty much anything in my path for my own personal benefit. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. That is a very technical definition. Very good, that's worth two star points, Jazz. Okay, now let's give Mumps our full attention. Country life is all about the farming. Something I haven't done in quite some years. The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. Vincent, you're interrupting, but whatever. Uh, Farmer Mumps, if I eat your veggies, will I grow up strong like my big brother Sam? He's so strong, I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. Well, it sounds like I'm not the only man in Penny's life, that's good to know. Vincent, it's not good to gossip. Aw, oh, she's so busted. Is there something I need to know, Miss Penny? Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. That's okay. She's got no idea what I'm going to do behind her back. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. That's why I don't bother. 
but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Or we could give them to the witch and she'll do whatever she does with them. Here we're left with a lot of choices. Would you ever want to be a parent, Mumps? Well, I am currently and I have been a whole bunch of times. Absolutely, I want a big family. That way I can experiment tearing them apart and selling them to see what happens. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Mumps. I think the kids had a great time. I don't care what the kids did. Okay, it's been many weeks and my purple wife hasn't asked me for more kids yet, so I don't know what the story with that is. Hopefully she does before long, otherwise it's going to ruin my whole experiment. Today we have a letter from Penny. Meet me in the bathhouse after dark. Here we go, a nice romantic setting. There you are. I was worried you didn't get my note. I literally showed up right at 7 o'clock as it gets dark. It looks like we're alone. How convenient. The water feels so good after being out in the cold of night, doesn't it? Do you know why I asked you here tonight? Obviously you wanted to see me in my bathing suit. Which I'm not wearing, by the way. No! Um, how do I say this? I've been meaning to tell you for a while now about how I feel. I can't stop thinking about you. Well, we are dating, so that's understandable. Never felt this way about anyone. I feel the same way about you. At least for now. Give it a few weeks. Oh, Mumps, I thought you did, but w I thought you did, but I wasn't sure. I'll always remember this night. I won't, but whatever. And that concludes the Ten Heart event. Now, I just need my stupid current wife to have another stupid baby. Or at least just get pregnant, because that's the whole point. Not even sure where she is right now, so going to bed. Child number one has now grown up to the annoying phase where they run around and get in the way of everyone, so hopefully it won't be too much longer before my purple-haired idiot decides to have another child. Finally, almost a month after my other child was finally grown up as it could be, we have the offer for another baby. And yes, we should have another baby. Now we'll just wait a few days for good measure to make sure that bun is really in the oven. Okay, it's been five days since we decided to have another child. That means Abigail should be fairly pregnant. It takes a total of 14 days to have the child, so five days is somewhere in the middle. So now that she's halfway to childbirth, I feel like this isn't working out. Can't even stand to look at her for one more day. Just gonna go to bed and she'll be out of my life. Alright, the single life once again. Aside from my little child here running around being annoying. So today we might as well go check on Abigail to see how she's doing, if she's still pregnant or anything special like that. Good morning. Eat anything strange lately? What are you doing here? Just leave me alone. Well, she's not very happy to see me and no word on the baby. So looking at it from the standard time frame of two weeks that it takes to have a baby, it would be born on the 10th. So we'll see what happens at that point, if anything. But since today is a rainy day, I need to go take advantage of that and go get a mermaid pendant. 5,000 gold is a small price to pay for another soul-crushing marriage. We're not going to propose just yet though. I want to see what happens regarding the baby on the 10th. So here we are on the 10th. Nothing has happened. I didn't really think anything would and I don't presume anything will in the next few days. I'm just going to go a few more just to be sure. That's a full two weeks into spring. No new baby yet. So just like real life, it's impossible to have a baby if you're not married. Unless of course by some odd chance she's had a baby while living back at Pierre's store. We'll check in with her really quick before getting engaged to our newest wife. Hi Pierre, any unclaimed babies running around this place? Doesn't appear to be. Ex-wife? What are you doing here? Just leave me alone. Well, it appears that once you get a divorce, the baby just evaporates into nowhere. Alright, here's our new victim Penny, hiding out under a tree for reasons I can't quite explain. Anyways, here's a marriage pendant. Blah blah blah, three days. Here we go, one more wedding, it's always the same thing, nothing ever changes. Aside from the fact that there's just more exes in the crowd every time. Okay, Penny has the same personal space up here, just a few pots and plants and nothing exciting. Inside, she pretty much just has a little library. Actually kind of suits my house. And she's probably wondering whose kid this is running around. Well, I'm not really sure myself. I have to go into town today. Don't work too hard and eat something good for lunch. I will do neither. As per usual, I'm just going to give her a whole bunch of flowers to bump her up to the maximum 12 hearts. That way we get the new child sooner than later. Okay, so hopefully I can just sleep for no more than a few weeks and we'll get another child going. Okay, all it took is two days because yes, I'm that good. 
And that's pretty awesome because now I don't even have to give Penny gifts anymore. I just have to wait 14 days and the child will be born. Okay, so during the night, Penny gave birth to a baby boy. What should we name him? I think we're just going to go with Other Baby for this one. Okay, Other BB. Good morning, a nice house, two wonderful kids, and a beautiful plot of land. We're so very fortunate. Well, at least you acknowledge the other kid, despite the fact that it's definitely not yours. Anyways, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Now that we've answered those few family questions, Penny clearly acknowledges the second child, whether or not she really differentiates between whether it's hers or not. Doesn't seem to, doesn't really matter. And if you divorce the wife while she's pregnant, the baby disappears. So that answers that. Anyways, hope you like this one. Thanks for watching.